News Channel 20 State House reporter Jordan Abadea live at the Capitol with details of today's Committee of the Whole. Stacey, today the House convened for a special committee of the whole where lawmakers heard testimony on workers' compensation reform. Now, it's been nearly five years since the state passed workers' compensation reform back in 2011. Some say that reform didn't go far enough. Reform. Experts say today's hearing could be a bit of a political show by House Speaker Mike Madigan, who might be trying to show everybody how unpopular parts of Rauner's turnaround agenda are. Now, ex negotiations are expected to continue behind closed doors, and future hearings are expected to be set in the coming month. At live at the Capitol, Jordan Abadea, News Channel 20. 186 says unfunded mandates from the state are costing it some big bucks, but they don't know exactly how much money just yet. News Channel 20's Brett Baldick joins us live from District 186, the main offices tonight with the effort expected tonight to determine how much the district pays for programs required by the state that don't come with state funding. Well, Adam and Stacy, this is the list of close to 200 unfunded mandates Illinois schools must put in place, and they range from requiring the use of recycled paper to using biodiesel fuel in school buses just this lawmakers. And at tonight's school board meeting, new school board member Blake Handley will be sworn into his position. Of course, he won his seat during the municipal elections back in March. Reporting live in Springfield, Brett Baldeck, News Channel 20. Key issues. News Channel 20's Lindsay Hess is live outside the municipal building with more on the issues up for vote. Lindsay? Maggie Adam, this is the final city council meeting for six of the current aldermen, and they have some important decisions to make tonight. First, Austin Springfield. Frank Edwards says he expects all three of these issues to pass quickly. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Hess, News Channel 25.